Minotaur would be a match for any mortal. But wasn't it slain by Theseus? No, Mistyos. It's very much alive and well. Where is he, then? You said the labyrinth was beneath us. Yeah, there's a creepy-looking trapdoor beneath the temple. Take me there, and I will slay the Minotaur and find your pater. You? You'll do that? The Minotaur will die, and I will find your pater. In order to find all four mythical beasts and defeat them in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you're going to need to level up and prepare yourself for a big fight. Finding the Minotaur is actually the most complex of all four in that you actually have to do quite a lot of groundwork before you can get anywhere near him. However, it all takes place in Macera, so you'll need to be at least level 35 before you start trying to track him down. Once you're hitting that sort of level, here's how to find and beat him. In Macera, you'll need to head to the region of Minos's legacy, to an area called Nosos Palace. The mission that you need is called Myths and Minotaurs, which definitely gives you a clue as to what exactly you'll be exploring with this one. You'll meet a young boy called Ardos, whose father has gone into the Minotaur's labyrinth and hasn't come back yet. In order to get the key to get into the labyrinth though, and eventually to the Minotaur himself, you'll have to do a number of side quests in and around Macera, which will sit in your quest screen under the header of Minotaurs and Men. You'll have to deal with a collector, free Ardos's caretaker, and kill an evil man called the Swordfish, who also happens to be a cultist. Bonus! And that's all before returning to Ardos to finally enter the labyrinth. Turns out he had the key the entire time, the little mischief. As soon as you enter the labyrinth, Cassandra or Alexios will alert you to a glowing string that Ardos's father used to navigate the labyrinth. Follow this and it'll take you to him, although unfortunately he didn't make it. But it won't actually take you all the way through the labyrinth. From Ardus's father's body, turn back on yourself and then leap across the gaps from where the glowing rope kinda comes to a stop. From here you'll need to keep following the path around, turning every time you see some skulls on sticks. Nice. Thankfully it's not too long and you'll find some treasure along the way too. Just keep on the path slide under and jump over some obvious obstacles and you'll be facing the Minotaur in no time. When it comes to defeating him, there's nothing special that you need to do, but I would try and keep your distance if you can because of his ridiculous axe swing and the ground pound. Arrows work well, particularly fire arrows and dodging, lots of dodging. When his health gets to halfway down, he will smash up the arena somewhat to make it much, much smaller. Thankfully though, his attack patterns don't change, so just keep doing what you were doing before with the arrows and the dodging, sneaking in some direct attacks when his back is turned. Easy, right? Can't believe I killed a Minotaur. Then it's just a case of tearing off his horn and grabbing that hidden piece of Eden. So that's how to find and beat the Minotaur in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Let us know if you've managed it in the comments below. Hit the buttons on the left for more content from us. And don't forget to hit that big button in the middle to subscribe for more news, reviews, previews, guides, and more from us here at GamesRadar Plus.